Imagine two gardens side by side. One thrives on organic fertilizers, the other on chemical ones. Notice the difference? Welcome to a tale of two gardens. The first garden, let's call it Garden A, is a vibrant, thriving ecosystem, buzzing with life, from the tallest trees down to the tiniest organisms in the soil. It's a garden that's nurtured with organic fertilizers, materials that come from living things, like composted green waste, bone meal, or worm castings. These organic materials not only feed the plants but also enrich the soil, promoting a healthy ecosystem teeming with beneficial microbes. Now, let's glance over at Garden B. It's also lush and green, but it's fed with chemical fertilizers. These are concoctions created in labs, often containing high concentrations of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. They provide a quick nutrient boost, causing plants to grow rapidly and appear healthy and vibrant. But it's a bit like a sugar rush, fast and furious, but potentially short-lived. At first glance, both gardens might seem equally lush and thriving. But if you kneel down, dig your hands into the soil, you'd feel a difference. Garden A's soil feels rich, crumbly, and alive, while Garden B's soil might feel a bit more compact and lifeless. And if you could see beneath the surface, you'd witness a bustling microbial city in Garden A's soil, organisms breaking down organic matter into nutrients that plants can use. In contrast, Garden B's soil might appear a bit quieter, the microbial life not quite as vibrant. So what's happening here? Well, organic fertilizers like those in Garden A feed the soil and the plants, creating a sustainable, nutrient-rich environment that promotes long-term plant health. On the other hand, chemical fertilizers like those in Garden B mainly feed the plants, often neglecting the soil's health, which could lead to long-term issues. So what's behind these contrasting scenes? Let's dig deeper. To understand the impact on our gardens, we first need to know what's inside these fertilizers. So, what exactly are fertilizers? In simplest terms, they are materials added to soils or plants to provide essential nutrients that promote growth. Let's break it down further. Organic fertilizers are derived from living organisms. Picture this, decomposed plant materials, animal manure, worm castings, and even seaweed. The magic in organic fertilizers lies in their composition. They are rich in a wide spectrum of key nutrients, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, collectively known as NPK but they also contain an array of other minerals and micronutrients, like calcium, magnesium, and iron, which are crucial for plant health. Plus, they improve soil structure and stimulate beneficial microbial activity, fostering a living, breathing ecosystem beneath the surface. Now let's consider chemical fertilizers. These are synthetically produced, using processes that combine various chemicals to create concentrated sources of NPK. The advantage? They deliver these nutrients to plants quickly, like a fast food meal. However, they generally lack the broad spectrum of nutrients found in their organic counterparts. The result can be akin to a sugar rush for plants, providing a quick burst of growth, but potentially leaving them nutritionally imbalanced in the long run. It's also worth noting that the manufacturing processes for chemical fertilizers often involve non-renewable resources, like natural gas and coal, which can have significant environmental implications. But it's not just about what's in these fertilizers. It's also about how these nutrients are released into the soil. Organic fertilizers break down slowly, releasing their nutrients over time. This mimics the natural nutrient cycle, providing a steady, balanced diet for your plants. Chemical fertilizers, on the other hand, release their nutrients rapidly, which can sometimes lead to nutrient runoff and environmental harm. It's clear that what goes into our soil greatly affects what grows out of it. But how exactly? The answer to that question lies in understanding the interaction between these fertilizers, the soil, and the plants. And that's where we're headed next. The effects of these fertilizers reach beyond just our plants. They ripple through our soil and our environment. When it comes to soil composition, chemical fertilizers offer a quick fix, rapidly supplying the nutrients plants need to grow. But this approach can be likened to a sugar rush. It's fast, it's intense, but it doesn't last. These fertilizers can lead to nutrient imbalances and degrade the soil structure over time, making it harder for plants to absorb water and nutrients. On the other hand, organic fertilizers improve soil structure and increase its ability to hold water and nutrients, enriching the soil over time. Now, let's talk about plant health. Chemical fertilizers can encourage rapid growth, but this might not always be a good thing. Fast-growing plants are often less resistant to pests and diseases. Organic fertilizers, in contrast, release nutrients slowly, 
promoting steady growth and making plants more robust and healthier in the long run. Then, there's the environmental impact. The production and use of chemical fertilizers contribute significantly to water and air pollution. Excess nutrients can run off into water bodies, causing algal blooms that deplete oxygen and harm aquatic life, a phenomenon known as eutrophication. Organic fertilizers made from plant and animal waste are naturally recycled back into the environment, helping to maintain the natural nutrient cycle without causing harmful runoff. Expert opinions back this up. Many scientists and horticulturalists advocate for organic fertilizers due to their long-term benefits to soil health and the environment. Real-life case studies further support this. For instance, a five-year study conducted by the Rodale Institute found that organic farming methods, including the use of organic fertilizers, outperformed conventional methods in years of drought, showing the resilience of organic systems. Scientific research corroborates these findings. A study published in the Journal of Applied Ecology reported that organic farming practices increased biodiversity by about 30% compared to conventional methods. As we can see, our choice of fertilizer has far-reaching effects, but what can we do about it? When it comes to our gardens, we hold the power of choice in our hands. As we've explored, the fertilizers we choose to introduce to our gardens can have profound effects, both immediately and in the long term. It's not just about how lush your tomatoes are this season or how vibrant your roses bloom. It's about the health of your soil year after year and the legacy you leave for the plants of tomorrow. Let's consider organic fertilizers. They're typically made from plant or animal waste or composed of minerals. They release nutrients slowly over time, providing a steady supply of nourishment to your plants. They also improve soil structure, fostering the growth of beneficial microbes that contribute to plant health but they may not always provide all the nutrients your garden needs, and they can sometimes be more costly or labor-intensive than their chemical counterparts. On the other hand, chemical fertilizers offer a quick-release, concentrated dose of nutrients. They're readily available, easy to use, and often less expensive. However, their rapid release can sometimes lead to nutrient runoff, potentially harming local waterways. And over time, they can degrade soil health, making your garden more dependent on their continued use. But here's the thing, it's not always a black and white decision. There are compromises and alternatives to consider. For instance, some gardeners choose to use a blend of both organic and chemical fertilizers. They might apply a slow-release organic fertilizer at the start of the season for sustained nourishment, and then supplement with a chemical fertilizer for a mid-season boost. Others might turn to organic amendments like compost or manure to improve soil structure and fertility, while also using a chemical fertilizer to ensure all nutrient needs are met. And then there are those who choose to go purely organic, nurturing their soil with compost, cover crops and organic fertilizers, and embracing the natural rhythms and cycles of the garden. Ultimately, the choice is ours to make. And it's a choice that matters. The health of our garden, our soil and our environment lies in our hands. As stewards of the earth, we have the power and the responsibility to make choices that benefit not only our plants, but also the soil they grow in and the world they beautify. When it comes to fertilizers, it's easy to be swayed by quick results. Chemical fertilizers can indeed provide an instant boost, but at what cost? They might be a short-term solution, but they can harm the soil's structure and natural ecosystem in the long run. They may also lead to nutrient runoff, which can harm our water systems and wider environment. On the other hand, organic fertilizers work in harmony with nature. They enrich the soil, improve its structure, and encourage a healthy ecosystem teeming with beneficial microorganisms. They release nutrients slowly, providing a steady supply of what plants need to grow strong and healthy. Organic fertilizers are made from natural materials, meaning they're renewable and don't contribute to environmental pollution. But it's not just about the impact on our gardens and the environment. It's also about the quality of the food we grow and the flowers we nurture. Plants grown with organic fertilizers are often healthier and more resistant to pests and diseases. They can also produce more nutritious and tastier fruits and vegetables. The flowers they bear can be more vibrant and fragrant, making our gardens even more inviting. In the end, the choice is yours. It's about understanding the long-term effects of your decisions and weighing the benefits and drawbacks. It's about being informed and understanding that the health of our gardens is intricately connected to the health of our soil and our planet. It's about realizing that every decision we make can either harm or help, can either deplete or renew. 
Remember, every choice we make, every seed we sow is a step towards a healthier garden and a healthier planet. Choose wisely.